hi welcome back to the channel long time since I made this type of video I haven't had much time recently but today I want to talk about this so this is by no means a new product it's been out ages and the reason I want to talk about it today is I see a lot of stuff on Facebook forums and people recommending wheels and they want to get into the Fanatec system and or they want to get into sim racing now you can pick up the CSL Elite because there's a load of second hand ones flying around now and a pedal set for under 350 quid I've seen them going for if you just want the two pedals and then you can get a wheel and this is the wheel you should buy the reason you should buy this wheel is it is without a doubt the best value for money wheel full stop it doesn't matter what system you're running on this thing is amazingly good value for money it comes in at 200 quid 199 pound from fanatec obviously you've got to pay import on that yada yada, yada. it comes out about the same money i think by the time you paid your costs and everything you'd be looking at about 210 delivered to the uk in 10 days or you can pick these things up second hand and i've seen them go for as little as 180 and i've seen them go as crazy up to 262.70 now let's i want to talk about the negatives first and get the negatives out of way of this wheel and one of the negatives is this so it's got the qr qr1 light so it has got the plastic slide on the back so it's a type that just locks in place and with that it only gives you a limited amount of torque so if you're running a dd1 which is what i'm running you can only run at the lower torque band i generally have a qr1 normal on the back of this thing and the reason it's not on here at the minute i wanted to try something so when you put it onto the wheel it's going to lock it on the lower setting and that is because inside here there's a pin on the back of this plastic qr qr1 light and what it does is it's pushing a switch down inside i cut it off the little plastic dimple that's on the bottom of this so it doesn't press the switch and now when you put it on you can have full torque but you need to be a bit sensible i'm running this not at full torque at all but i am running it at higher than what it was allowing me to run it at uh, and it's absolutely fine i have no problems with it whatsoever and that's on a dd1 so if you're running it on something else you're going to have no problems with it whatsoever the reason I love this wheel so much is the size, it's a great size, I love these rubber handles here, these grips, you don't need to wear gloves, you're not going to damage it not wearing gloves, you can wear gloves if you want, it's comfortable, if your hands get sweaty they're not bad on this material, and all in all, it's just a great wheel, but it's an all rounder, because of the size of it you can get away with doing most stuff on this, you can't do, I wouldn't drift or rally with it, but certainly um, Formula 1, Brilliant uh, and GT3 cars, equally as good, it's probably meant for GT3 because it's a GT3 wheel, um, but you really can't go wrong. And like I say, it's been out ages. This is just my take on it. So as you can see on the front, I don't know whether these are the original button caps because I may have changed them, so you have to forgive me. I just put these ones on. And the reason I had them on, I was running this and playing... Um, I can't remember what it's called. Gone. Uh, on the, I was playing on the PS5 anyway. Gran Turismo 7, <laughs> yeah, I got it in the end, and I was using this wheel for GT7 on a CSL Elite when I was a separate rig. I've since got rid of the rig because I hate the game now. I don't play GT7 anymore, it's a whole different story to go into. And I've just got the one rig again, and I use this back on here. But, as you can see, it's got PlayStation buttons now. It's got the funky switch, it's got the display on the top, and it's the OLED display, so it's a little display, but very high quality. And it allows you to skip through all, all your settings as you would we are the other wheel you have programmable buttons all over the place uh, i use these to move my seat in and out it affects your view on obviously a set of course of in competition that's what i use these buttons for but you can map them to whatever you want and then you've got your neutral buttons and then i use this for if i'm using i have this for overtaking drs if it's on f1 uh, and I have it set for different things. And on the back you have a paddle that allows you to go up and down on the same one if you like. So instead of having two, have, instead of having the normal up and down, you can have up and down on the same paddle if you want to do that. And then you have your clutch, your brake and accelerator on this, or your clutch or whatever you want to do. These are quite 
stiff um, feeling. Springs are quite strong on these. They just have a nice satisfying click. They're not uh, magnetic. You can do a magnetic mod to this, but they're not magnetic. These are just a standard switch. But all in all, it works really well. Though the quality, it doesn't come with a stack sticker by the way, but if you know, if you're watching this and you've seen one of these wheels, I can guarantee you've seen one of these stickers. There's hundreds from a bike, and I'll get it orange, which looks much nicer. I think I paid £5 on eBay for two of these, and it's never moved, it's not come off, it's not, I've used it on the wheel an awful lot. I've had no problems with a sticker. Um, but yeah, 200 quid, I don't think you're going to beat that wheel not many places anyway not to have a quick release and not to have the display and obviously you can set all your settings there. you can adjust all your settings and you can on any of the other Fanatec wheels so you can set your one to five and it, you've got your auto uh, auto mode if you want to let it set in the game control it or you can one two three four and five and adjust everything as you can i'm not going to go through that there's a hundred videos on this wheel on any Fanatec wheel because this bit's all the same um but yeah I don't think you can go much wrong for the money. This isn't an advert for Fanatec saying you need to, but this is the answer to people who go on the forums and say, well, what wheel should I buy? This is what you should buy. Especially if you only wanted to buy one wheel or money's an issue, which it is with everybody at the minute. Let's be fair, the economy is up it's on its ass. But this is a great wheel for the money and the wheel that will do everything. So, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. It's great to be back. I will have some more videos coming up shortly. A lot more driving videos. I am now playing F1 2022 at the minute. And I'm mainly doing that to play in VR. The only reason I bought the game, to be fair, because it's not that different. It's not different enough for me to have spent the money on it. The cars drive differently, obviously. But the game plays very, very similar. Everything's very similar. So, But I bought it to play in VR, which I really do like. Um, playing that in VR and also I have got the Assetto Corsa mod for the new mod pack which allows me to have the American tracks which I really love. Watkins Glen on uh, ACC is just absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'm waffling. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.